The more you want what you don't have, the needier you are. The more you can appreciate what you do have, the happier you are, and the less you need from others. The more attached you are to a particular goal of making a certain amount of money or having a certain number of clients by a certain date, the needier you are, the more you need from other people, and other people will start to sense that and pull away from you. Instead, if you can come back to appreciating what you do already have, the clients that you may already have, or the connections you have, the friends you have, the family you have, the characteristics that you have grown within yourself over the years that you're proud of, the access you may have to Mother Earth and nature, the breath that you have, and the limitless, the unlimited well of creativity that you actually have within you, and your eternal source of support that you always have. Let the fullness grow within you and overflow into love and therefore give from that place of love. Connect with others from that place of love. And when you do that, you become more attractive to others and ironically, others want to give more to you. So let's talk about business since most of you watching this are business owners and want to grow your marketing, etc. from a place of integrity and generosity. When you create content, first connect with your eternal source of support and appreciate what you do have and create content from that place of love and giving. I don't need more likes, more comments, more shares, more followers. I appreciate you. I appreciate those who already are uh, watching my content or reading my things. I'm so grateful. I appreciate what I do have. In the beginning when I only had maybe a few friends watching my videos or uh, reading my things, even if I had one like or zero likes, but I knew that a few people were watching, I appreciated what I did have. When I'm in conversations with a prospective client, I come from a place of no need. I appreciate the clients that I already do have. Uh, even if when my practice was not full, I did my best to come to a place of no need first before I talked with my prospective client and, and give from that place of no need, connect from that place of, of love and curiosity into what they might need that I may be able to give and fill. When I am networking, I try to remember to come to a place of no need and I network from a place of, oh, how can I help this person? How can I really connect in a way that's really fun and enjoyable for both of us? And from that place, we can then create something that is truly win-win on both sides. So before you do your business, connect with your eternal source of support. 